Now there's something that we covered in the last section that's very important and I want to talk a little bit more on and that is this concept of code blocks. Code blocks are denoted by an opening and closing curly bracket and in this case we've created three specific code blocks that correspond to each of the conditionals in our set of conditionals, the if statement, the else if statement, and the else statement. And for each of these statements, we've created a code block. Now I'm gonna get rid of the else if and else statements so that we're only focusing on the concept of code blocks in this instance. So I'll go ahead and delete those two. And I'm going to change the code block of our if statement to something else. And what I've changed it to is a declaration of a paragraph variable, or a declaration of a variable called paragraph, and I assign our first element of our parallelms array to that variable. And what I want us to take away from this is the understanding that code blocks essentially contain or encapsulate a very specific set of code. So in this case, our code block contains the code that is to be run if the condition of our if statement is met and that code that runs executes and then dies. So it executes once if that condition is met and then it and then it goes away. And what's extremely important to understand about this is that the variables I create within a given code block only live inside of that code block. So for instance, I've created this parallelms variable that isn't contained inside of a specific code block, which means that it's global, which means that it can be accessed anywhere in my application in a JavaScript file. So all of my JavaScript has access to this, which is why even with inside this code block, the if statements code block understands what this parallelms array is because it's declared essentially globally. However, this paragraph variable is declared inside of our if statement. So if we tried to use this paragraph variable outside of this if statement's code block, our JavaScript wouldn't know what to do with it. So that's extremely important, is that the code inside of our code block only lives inside of that code block. And like I said, we're gonna discuss this a little bit more in depth when we talk about scope and functions and things like that in a future lesson, but just understand that we can do whatever we want inside of this if statement, but when we declare variables and we declare new uh, data inside of a code block, it can't be accessed outside of that code block. So hopefully that makes sense, and I would encourage you to play around with these concepts a little bit more. For instance, copy and paste this code into your own text editor and play around with trying to access this paragraph element from different places in our code and see just what happens. And after you've had a chance to do so, let's move on to the next section about switch statements.